Hey guys, today I'm gonna give you my thoughts on Division 2 in general as a game and the PvP and PvE aspect. So, long story short, I bought my very first Xbox in 2020 and it came with the Division 2 as digital copy. It was my first game on the console and I fell in love with it. I love third person shooter games for the simple fact that you can see your character and its movements. For these people who have no idea what's the game about, it's an online third person shooter game um, in apocalypse looking world located in Washington DC and later on with the DLC you can go to New York where the original Division game was located. You can customize visually your character, there's a huge amount of weapons in the game and they are customizable, you have a lot of gadgets to choose from. I'm not sure in which year this is happening but it's really tech advanced so it's somewhere in the future. Now let's get back to the main topic and why I feel like the PvP in this game is one of the worst I've ever seen and uh, yeah I've been playing games for quite some time and I do enjoy PvP in general. If you're looking for a um, PvP game to play the Division 2 is definitely not what you're looking for and it's probably the reason why half of the day there's no players to kill in PvP conflict. You might find someone in the dark zone but Oh boy, let's talk about that. So, in order to be really good in any kind of PvP, um, you have to spend a lot of time grinding items in PvE because of the meta builds who are always being used by the diehard PvP players. I like the library idea the developers came up with, it really helps a lot of maxing out your gear. So after many many hours of PvE grinding to find out your maxed out gear pieces you have to sacrifice them in order to fuel your library. That's cool, I don't have anything against that. After a while when you fill your library with the most important stats and you start getting almost god row pieces which you fix because now you have everything you need and you thought you were ready to roll in PvP. Yep, let me stop you right there. You're not going anywhere, buddy. No matter what build you came up with, and I'm talking about the non-meta builds, it won't get the job done. I've tried so many different builds that are maxed out or almost maxed out to the point where it actually doesn't really matter if you have like 2 or 3% less critical damage than the maxed one. The game has over a hundred weapon choices and there are like 10 guns that are a part of the meta build and you have to use them whether you like it or not. There's a decent amount of talent choices for your body armor and backpack and again only few of them are being used in PvP and they are part of the meta. You might have seen a clip of someone in the dark zone running alone and he's literally dropping 2 or 3 people in a row and his armor is full. And yeah, probably the people who died have maxed out builds who simply weren't meta and they decided they'll work because they're maxed out. Well, they don't. I have around 500 hours in the game and I spent mostly my time in PvE. I have many builds in my loadout which are maxed out or close and they don't work in PvP because that's how the game works. It really feels like this was supposed to be a PvE game and in the last month before release date they decided to add PvP. It's just unbalanced and weird. The PvP aspect of the game is about having meta build and repeating every time the opening and doing that over and over again. I heard there's gonna be a big update in like 2 months and people are getting hyped up thinking that something big is gonna happen. I really doubt that. 
they will play it for a week or so because it's a new content and it's gonna be over the game needs a complete rework in the pvp aspect i think it has a great pve content and no matter what build you pick it's gonna work if you know how to play it but you can't really do that in pvp there's always gonna be that dude sitting like a damn tank in the middle dropping three people in the same time almost without losing armor i don't know if any of you played red dead online and had a shootout with someone that's what i called balanced your character level doesn't really matter i farmed level 300 or level 400 players while i was still level 100 same thing in apex legends all players have the same weapons and it doesn't really matter what level you are, if you are a beast, you are a beast. If the developers paid more attention to the complaining players, the game was probably gonna be a much better place and it wouldn't be dead. Yeah, the game is dead. There's people everywhere on the internet asking if the game is dead. If you see a bunch of people asking the same question, it's probably true. I still play the game sometimes, but I just join in low level player sessions, help them out. I'm looking forward to see what Division Heartland is gonna be like, because the idea sounds intriguing, but we'll see what happens. For me, the Division 2 is a great game overall, and if you're in for the PV content, go for it. That's pretty much all I have to say. Go try it yourself, maybe you like it, but I don't see why would you need to spend 100 hours um, in a game just to experience the PvP and you won't really experience it because you will need to find the meta weapons and gear pieces which will take you some time, especially if you want them maxed out. So I don't know, try it for yourself. I'll see you next time, peace.